Retired players is an area of support that the RPA is really looking to improve and increase. So today we've got some of the guys down to Sam Maunders coffee shop. He's really kindly invited us down. We're then heading off to PFP Fitness, which is James Buckingham's gym. They're a member of our retired player network. So players can access gyms around the country as part of their RPA membership. And then we're going on to Gareth Steenson's standoff later. And he's a retired player who again stepped into another world. He's coaching, but also he's got his interest in the standoff. It's just so nice to bring old players back to see each other and like support them and obviously everything we can do to help the transition from playing to retire is always easy. We're really focusing on this as an area of growth for us to try and look at ways that we can use the RPA platform to get businesses and gyms and service providers together to support retired players and create a bit of a skeleton or a framework which players can step into and they step back into that ability to reconnect with teammates and people who've gone through the same experiences that they've gone through. Combi was started by Charlie about three years ago and then we struck up a relationship just through coming in and enjoying his coffee and yeah, he asked if I wanted to be part of it moving forward which I was like chuffed at because it's nice to have an involvement outside of rugby which you can essentially switch off into and of course it's just nice having something else going on in your life apart from the day to day. We surveyed our retired players at the RPA and a big thing was about losing identity when you retire but also about losing that social connection. So. That's really what we're trying to do here by really putting a focus on retired players is to create ways to bring players together. It's good for their physical health, it's good for their mental health and it's good for their identity for the rest of their life. What I've noticed with the lads is once the training you can see they're all happy and great camaraderie. So it's nice for me to be able to provide that venue for them to come here and do that stuff. We well, get back into it, you know, it's a nice friendly environment. PFP and Jones have been great welcoming us down here. And then you just get back into the same old crack that you probably had when you were training. Always egging you on, trying to push yourself and actually find out you can do more than you thought. To get together for once or twice a month even, just brings you back together and gives you that bit of feeling you are back in a team environment and somebody's looking after you and pushing you on. And we had an excellent coach in James today, so as a bonus. Will Greenwood said you can go into a rugby club anywhere in the land and you've got a ready-made family, you know. Lambo, I've, I've played against him a couple of times, but I was working in the session with him and straight away there's a bit of kinship and it's good fun. I just sort of urge everyone who's still sort of playing to look and use the RPA, they've got some great resources. A lot of passionate people that have been in the position where they are, making sure you utilise the opportunities that you've got. I'm 10 years out of the professional environment now and to get a fix every now and again, be amongst the lads. And the harder it became, the more fun it actually became because we're all starting to fire into each other and a lot of good memories started flooding back. So it was a bit of therapy, enjoyed it. I suppose what I'd say to retired players is we want to make that transition out of the game easier. We want to set people up socially, you know, into their future. We're really working hard to try and get some really strong resources for players and some really good services that they can tap into. So I'd just say to retired players, sign up to be a retired player member and use the services. It's here for you to use. We're really looking forward to the next one. We'll all hopefully get a date in the diary by the end of the meal because it's definitely benefited me talking to some of the old characters to find out how other people are getting on and find out how they've been post-rugby. And I think a lot of people will be able to benefit from that. To be able to pick up the phone, speak to some of the old peers, talk about the ups and downs of work is fantastic. And the Rugby Players Network really does help to do that, without a doubt.